What's up? It's your boy Remus and welcome back to Remus Boxing as we cover the news in the boxing world and the trending topics of today. So we're talking about potential big fights that could happen in 2022 um, involving what well, we're going to be speaking about three today, which is Caleb Plant, Canelo and Jamal Charlo, um, one of the twin brothers and the smaller twin, Jamel He's the 154 pound uh, three titleless champion and he should be fighting for the undisputed pretty soon in his fight. But Jamal Charlo is the 160 pound WBC champion and he's been, um, you know, fans and the media have been speaking about him in the last couple of days because there has been potential talks of him fighting uh, Saul Alvarez, you know, Canelo. Um, Canelo... That fight with Canelo would perhaps happen in or for Cinco de Mayo in the beginning of May. And it would be for the 168-pound um, undisputed championship, which is a good thing for Charlo because it gives him a chance to move up and, um, you know, get, get another title in that weight class. That would be a big win for both because there's been a lot of talks about this fight or potential fight uh, recently. So, we know that Canelo fought Caleb Plant and he won all of those titles by defeating champion. I think he faced like, four, was it four champions or four big fighters in the last 12 months, as we know. And he was rated as the WBC Fighter of the Year, I believe. Um, but, interestingly, a lot of fans think that Canelo was moving up to avoid Charlo and as we know Canelo was going to have a potential fight or may still have a fight with the WBC cruiserweight champion he may have that fight with him um, and pe I've been seeing fans say that Canelo's trying to duck Charlo to have that like a bigger fight and that doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to me I'll tell you why because how can a, a tr like a super middleweight move up to cruiserweight if he's fearful or scared and you might say yeah that other guy isn't as great as a fighter as uh basically what charlo would be at his weight but you're moving up in weight whenever you move up in weight i think people don't realize especially in the bigger weight classes the weight disparities are, di are much bigger like <laughs> do you get what i'm saying like he's gonna be potentially outweighed 10 or 20 pounds on the night that wouldn't be inconceivable I do think Canelo has what it takes to win that fight, but I wouldn't call Canelo the type of fighter that would duck a big fight. That just doesn't make sense to me. So I think that's a bit, I think that's a little bit harsh, you know, because Canelo's looking for big challenges, especially at this time, which is why he's moving up in weight. So why would he, if, like he's in a state where Roy Jones back in the day was just dominating everyone and he was making it look easy. And this was a potential problem because once you start dominating in such a fashion, you kind of start to lose the imagination of the fans in a way, unless you keep going for bigger and better challenges because it's like, oh, we know you're going to win. We kind of don't care. And Canelo doesn't really have a hateable <laughs> attitude uh, for us to want to watch him lose. Not most fans anyway. But um, Charlo... Apparently, he is asking for 15 million for that fight, which is more than what Daniel Jacobs and Kovalev got. So, there, there's always that stuff behind the scenes that threatens these big fights. Um, perhaps that could price him out of the fight. Daniel Jacobs is like one of those guys, he's not like a household name, but in the boxing world, he's like a, all right, we all know him. Um, Charlo, I don't view him as higher than Daniel Jacobs, so I can't really see why he would deserve more than what Daniel Jacobs got in that, got in that fight. But maybe I'm missing something, so you guys can uh, comment your thoughts. Uh, but then, this is also what happened in the last day. Caleb Plant put himself in the mix by tweeting on social media, <coughs> um, calling him out. He basically said... What did he say? He said, you've been indirect, so I'll be straightforward. We can figure it out by the end of the year. Your easy work. <laughs> and I love I love when fighters talk like this. It makes my day. It makes me so happy, man. 
because uh, that's what you want to see. So he's calling him easy work. And that fight was also spoken about um, for the last few months. Like even leading up to the Canelo fight, I saw people, um, some reporters asking him about that potential fight in the future. Um, when he was asked, I think it was on Fight Hype about that fight, that interview might have been um, in December, I think it was, but he was asked about uh, potentially fighting Charlo and he basically jumped at the chance. He, the reporter, I, I can't remember his name, but he he couldn't even finish his question before Caleb was like, yes, I'll take him. Yes, that can happen. And, and he said, easy. Uh, no, what did he say? He said, any place, any time, anywhere, that sort of thing. And you like to see fighters talking like that. So I know that Caleb, I think that fight with Caleb might be an easier fight to make. But the I don't know why he said at the end of the year, because... I mean, maybe he wants to take time off, um, you know, because if you've seen Caleb around, you've seen that that man is, I, don't, I, I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple years he says he was depressed in this time period where, um, you know, he, he just lost to Canelo because in some of the footage I've seen of him after the Canelo fight, like he's looking down, like even weeks after it happened, He's, like, upset, you know, so I don't even see why he would want to stay out that long if he is indeed talking about making the fight at the end of the year. But he does seem on it because he was also getting into a social media spat with um, Rocky Fielding, who is also a former opponent of Rocky uh, Canelo. Um, I, I, I don't know the original post, but Rocky Fielding was basically tweet um, Instagramming or commenting about Caleb and him not having any belts or something like that. Uh, so they started going back and forth. And then Caleb basically said he's they've been trying to make that fight happen. Ha happen or the, they're, his team is trying to get through to them. And Rocky Fielding is being a bitch about it. That's specifically what, um, you know, Caleb Plant said. And then he even showed the DMs of them two going back and forth arguing in the um, direct messaging and basically he was like what did he say he said give me a number and then Rocky Fielding said all right one million and Caleb basically came back and said you're not worth one million but I think it's just Rocky Fielding wanting to just kind of like he knows that maybe big fights like that are kind of slipping from him so he's just trying to get big money fights before he possibly just goes on a downtrend in boxing but it makes sense if you can instigate a fight with those guys fuck it just go for it you know get yourself a big fight so i think he just wants a big fight but all of this really depends on what canelo is doing if canelo canelo is the one that pulls all the strings if canelo goes for the cruiserweight title then I anticipate that Caleb Plant will probably fight Charlo. But anyway, comment down below. Let Remus know what are your thoughts on the middleweight to super middleweight landscape right now. Who do you think will come out on top? Do you even think that anyone can beat Canelo, any of these guys? A lot of people have been speaking about Charlo being that sort of uh, elite champion who can give Canelo problems. But I personally don't think that's going to happen especially if he's a smaller guy moving up i don't think so but comment down below let remus know and i'll see you in the next video peace